In this video, we want to take a look at how transitioning to a zero carbon economy could affect employment. How we live, including many of our jobs, currently relies on fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas. These need to be phased out quickly because of their devastating effect on our planet. Understandably, people are concerned that existing jobs will be lost. But recent research by Greenhouse Think Tank and the Green European Foundation, looking at the UK, Ireland and Hungary, shows that transitioning to a zero carbon economy will actually create more jobs than are lost. To limit climate change, we need to use less energy. To achieve this, we need to change how we live and work, insulating our homes, driving less, walking, cycling, and using public transport more, mending things rather than throwing them away, and changing how we produce our food. The energy we do use, including for transport and heat, will need to be mostly electricity generated from renewable resources such as sun, wind, and water. Changing from one way of doing things to another will be a lot of work and so create a lot of new jobs. These jobs will be all over the country, in small towns and rural areas, not just in big cities. For example, installing an onshore wind turbine requires about 23 people for a year. The UK alone needs nearly 15,600 such turbines. Increased use of public transport will also create jobs. For every 10 new buses we introduce, we would need around 22 new drivers and five maintenance staff. Every 200 trucks of waste we reuse or recycle, rather than throw away each year, would create at least seven additional jobs. So although jobs will be lost, many more will be created. In the UK, we could create around one million jobs during a transition to a zero carbon economy by 2030 and 700,000 in the long term. In fact, the real challenge may be how to find and train people to fill all these new roles. So, tackling climate change will create jobs. We just need to get on and do it.